Good morning everyone, welcome back to Joe and Di's allotment channel. Um, what I'm going to do is harvest some um, grapes today. Um, we're at the end of September, beginning of October now, and they're still lovely. We've made quite a lot of grape juice already. Um, we've got this grapevine and we've got one at home. These ones are lovely and plump this year, actually they're nice and sweet and they're a lot larger than the ones at home, but they still both make uh, quite a nice grape juice. Um, but we've got quite a good crop this year, so uh, we've been sort of thinking what to do with it. And we're going to try and make some um, grape jelly. I mean, they've both got seeds in them. These ones and the ones at home are, are full of seeds, so there'd be no good for grape jam. But um, what we do is extract the juice and make a nice grape jelly with it, uh, a low sugar one. So we only use like every three cups of juice, we'd only add one cup of sugar and make a sort of low sugar grape jelly. There's quite a few kilograms in there and they're quite juicy so I think we'll extract quite a lot of juice from those. So we picked about five kilograms of um, grapes this morning. Uh, the first step be to, to, to making grape jelly is to actually take them off the salts and give them a good wash. So remove any that are not ripe properly and still green. Take them off, put them in the compost. Um, Take them all off, give them a good wash, and then we move on to the second step, which will be um, getting the juice out of them. Yeah, so we um, had some grapes at home as well that we picked the other day. So um, after de-stalking them all, so we've uh, got quite a lot of stalks there for the um, compost bin. After de-stalking them, we've ended up with about 6.5 kilograms of de-stalked grapes. Um, it's probably too much to make into um, grape jelly, but what we, we do, we process it anyway, and we'll keep some of it as juice, and we'll probably use around 12 cups to make some grape jelly with. So the first thing would be is to mash it all. Um, I might put the heat on as well for a little bit, just to get, get the juices flowing. Mash it all, and then um, we'll have to strain it after that. So I've been heating it and mashing it, and extracted most of the juice. So now it's a matter of separating the juice from the um, seeds and pulp. There's still a little bit of juice in there, but not a lot actually. Um, so it's a matter of pouring into the colander first, very gently. Just a little bit at a time, I think. I continue to mash it to get the juice out the bottom. And once it's, I've got most of the juice out, I'll um, sit. I'll go through the sieve again to get any bits that have um, gone through the system. So we should be left with just juice on its own. So we want to strain um, about 12 cups, which is three liters, just to make sure we've um, got everything out of it. That seems to be quite not too bad. Must be some bits in there though, because it's not flying through that well. So there must be bits of skin in there and all sorts still. But we'll um, work that way for work it work it through and do twelve cups worth. So that's worked most of it through. And all we've got is some uh, pulp left in there now. I suppose we could put that in the jelly. I mean, there's no pips or skin in there, but. Um, So we've got 12 cups of um, grape juice in there, which has been double filtered, first through the colander and secondly through the sieve, so we've got everything out of it. And what I'm adding now is some freshly uh, squeezed lemon juice. So that's one cup of, one cup, one tablespoon of lemon juice for every cup of, three cups of um, grape juice, so that'd be four. That's four in there. What I'll do, I'll start heating it up now, and once it's heated up thoroughly, I'll add the um, sugar, and we're doing one cup of sugar to every three cups, so that'd be four cups of sugar to go in here, which is 
quite a low um, amount of sugar. They're starting to warm up now. I'll add the um, four cups of sugar. I'll keep stirring that till it's all dissolved. It's bubbling. <laughs> Give it a good stir. And then we'll bring it to a rolling boil. And keep it boiling, uh, simmering for 25, 30, 40 minutes. Not sure. This I've not made this one before, so I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take. It's been boiling away for about five minutes now. The sugar is fully dissolved. But we're starting to get some scum on top. So it's just a matter of um, scooping the scum away, really. Taking it away. Try and leave the juice behind as far as possible. So after the lemon juice, the only thing we've added now is a defrosted um, apple puree or an apple puree. So a whole um, carton of that. And that's to add the pectine, because grapes are low in pectine, so you need to add pectine, uh, either in the form of pectine powder or apples, just to bring it up to setting point. So that's been um, rolling bowl now for about 45 minutes. I think it's reached setting point reduced quite a lot actually so just to test it put some on a plate on a cold plate and leave it for about five minutes in a cold spot and if you feel like it's rising with your finger or setting you can see if it's setting by it won't move around on the plate much either so we'll leave that for five minutes and test it so we can see it's set but it's hardly moving if I move it around you can see there's a nice sticky top to it as well now. Yep, that's set. That. You can feel the thickness on it. Hmm, nice. So I've pre-sterilised the jars. So you give them a very good wash in um, hot soapy water. Then you put them into an oven uh, for 10 minutes at 100 degrees centigrade. And that sterilises them fully before you pour anything into them. So I'll pour the jam in now and I'll put the tops on straight away and that forms a seal as well, so that, that will seal and the jam will last for quite a while. A little bit left in there. So we've got three jams, three jars of jam. Put the top on straight away. I'll wait till it cools down a bit before I wipe down the sides. That's it. So that's grape and apple jelly. So hope you've enjoyed the video. Good way of using up some of your grape harvest besides making juice. Make yourself some grape and apple jelly. Tastes delicious. Um, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And if you try it, leave us a comment in the box if it was successful. And uh, if you'd like to follow our journey, more recipes to come, how we use our uh, crops, please use the subscribe button at the bottom of the video.